Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy again. I have some exciting news, some exciting updates that are going to pertain to Google Docs. So let's jump right into it. One of the first things that you're going to notice, probably starting in the next day or so, for most of you at least, you will see a new revision history feature and look. So if we go up to the top, left of our screen we're going to go to our file menu you'll notice that instead of seeing revision history you now see version history now there's a couple of updates here in terms of this version piece first off you'll notice the first option here within this pull down menu is that you can now name this current version so instead of just seeing a version by a certain date you can now put your own name to it so let's just go ahead and give this just a blank name here We'll just say this is going to be our version for training. And then we'll click on save. And now we can continue to work, do whatever we need to do, and then we could name that next version. We'll also have the option of going back and naming previous versions that you may see. So to access these, let's go back up to our file menu, go to version history, and we're going to go see version history. You'll notice to the right side of our screen, just like we see before, we have that pull-out panel of our revision history. But you'll note at the top there where it says, today, I've now got my named version here. Now, you can also go back to previous versions, and you're going to see these three dots next to it now, where if we click on that, we'll be able to name this version from here. So you'll not only see that version to the left, but you'll also be able to name this. So let's just say that this is going to be a customer copy, whatever it may be, if we want to rename this. And now we can name those versions. So I think that's going to pertain to a lot of you. Very important to help you keep track of all those different changes. And you can do whatever you'd like to do there with the naming conventions. Now another thing that you're going to see if we go back to our main view here in terms of another update that I think is going to be very helpful for all of you is going to be looking at clean versions of docs and you'll know that when you do the suggested edit piece some people will get in there and do just little bits of grammatical type of changes and you have to go through each one individually well there's a couple of updates here first off if you go to your tools menu you're going to notice a new option here where it says review suggested edits. So if we click on this, you'll notice that to the right side of our screen, we're like where our spell check would be, you'll see it says show suggested edits and we can either accept all of them or reject all of them with a simple click. So that's a really nice piece there to be able to get through those quickly. So you can preview them all by clicking down and you'll be able to preview them preview accept all preview reject all that kind of thing or you can just say show suggested and then just get right to it of accepting all or rejecting all and just another quick add-on here in terms of suggested changes in a doc you can now do that from an Android an iPhone or an iPad device so just kind of a heads up on there that has now been added to that repertoire now you'll also be able to just click on accept all or reject all you'll notice in the lower left all of them have been accepted we can also have the option to undo so just a few great changes to Google Docs that I wanted to let you know about there's other changes that are coming here pretty quickly dealing with add-ons and such that I'll get to in another video just to keep this just that little bit shorter so until we all meet again take care everyone have a great rest of your day and enjoy these new updates from Google Docs